what is really brings the most fulfillment for you in this position that you're in now? Yeah, so, you know, I'm an engineer by background, so I went to engineering school, uh, and then I also am a creative person, so I cannot decide whether I'm left brain or right brain, I am not sure, (laughs) you know, I have probably a bit of both, but both these things really excite me, I love data, I love analyzing data, and and I love, let's say, looking at an account that someone, um, you know, a PPC account, and then um, going really deep into that, and trying to figure out, okay, what is it that's missing here, what is it that I can you know, change and transform and help uh, help the seller with. We do all our PPC orders for free. Um, and, uh, you know, we find an immense kind of fulfillment in, in doing that because then we can kind of, um, you know, guide uh, sellers uh, with uh, strategies that they could use. And, of course, a, a lot of them eventually, you know, come back to us and say, hey, can you manage uh, your account? That's kind of the goal that eventually we can be the ones to manage. But even without that, we're happy to share our uh, analysis and assessment of PPC um, performance and, um, you know, show them maybe they maybe they can use our software, maybe they can use just our uh, our services or something in between. So mm-hmm. it's, it's fulfill- fulfilling uh, for me um, at this stage in life because... Uh, honestly, I don't have the, the, you know, the eyesight to kind of do jewelry anymore. So that was like in the past, like I cannot have a magnifying glass anymore and be deaf with my hands. Um, I'm actually, this is better suited to who I am now. Um, and I'm also a little paranoid about collecting too much inventory in the house, like with like lots and lots of beads and lots and lots of parts and stuff like that. Uh, so it's, I, I think it's kind of working out really well. It, it fulfills me. It's what makes me wake up in the morning and turn on the computer and say, okay, well, what can I do today? <laughs> yeah, I love that. And and just mentioning the transitions that we all go through, you know, as moms and as, as business people, you know, just figuring out, like, I love how you said you're, you're right brain and left brain and a little bit of both. You know, I think that, that that's, um, you know, really a great place to admit that, to know that, yes, you have an amazing creative side and you also have this, this hunger for data and getting it correct and analyzing it because we can always make really good decisions based on really good data. Right. You know, once you have the data, you can figure out what your next move is, good or bad. It is what it is. And you can, you know, go from there and just talking about the different stages. And I love the phrase that you use. You said who I am now. And I love that you said that because so many we go through so many different phases and changes in life. And so many people um, pull back from that and they think it's awful and they don't like change to where uh, the way you said that so beautifully is just like, well, it, it just uh, it fits me for who I am right now and where you're fulfilled now and that changes over time and I love yes. to acknowledge that and realize that um, mm-hmm. you know back in 2010 when you first started even at Etsy you're a different person now you've learned so many things you've gone through different things you've you've gone through different stages of motherhood and in business and uh, I love to you know this is just permission for everyone who hasn't maybe given themselves permission to be who you are today and that doesn't have to match I hope I hope I'm not the same person I was 10 years ago. Um, I hope I've grown and changed and evolved into, um, you know, just being the age I'm at, right? I I haven't been this age before. I haven't been at this stage of of motherhood or even business before. So um, embracing that we make changes at different times and some things still suit us and might suit us forever. And sometimes it's okay to just make changes. I think gone are the days of maybe our parents who um, went to college or went to school, they got a job, they stayed there for 30 or 40 years, they retired and and moved on. Mm -hmm. And now in the age that we're in, with the digital, uh, um, people being digital nomads and people just being globally connected, um, we have so many more opportunities to change up what we're doing if we decide a decade later that like, oh, that was great for that time, but now I'm moving on. And, and totally. 